Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at this listing. Uh, so there's a few from this shop. Okay, so Avanti, tablet and laptop accessories. So uh, there's a few. I did not get this also one. Alright, although I think it's the same. Alright, so it is this one that I have. Uh, price is very different, but. Uh, is was some new ringgit that I bought it for, right? Uh, and just to note, well, I'll talk about this later. But there is a uh, normal version and a Bluetooth version. Okay, so you have quite a few offerings uh, from one key to twelve keys. I have the six key version. Okay, so let's take a look at the box and um, the actual device. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the box I came in. Um, the device is obviously not in it. Uh, basically, it was just bubble wrap, and I gave you a USB C cable. Okay, so uh, look at the actual device. Okay, so this is the actual device. Six keys. Uh, where the knob? Okay, and that's technically a 7 key because that's pressable as well. Okay, so uh, maybe we'll look at the listing a bit more in depth first. Okay, so if you look at this, let me zoom in. Right, so there is a software. Yeah, I think that's something that we'll look at later as well. Uh, so it's mainly acrylic, in case it's acrylic. Um, da -de -da -de -da. Uh, okay, so it's basically programmable which through the software. You have to use the software in Windows, it's a Windows only software, that's one thing to note. Um, these default things are quite useless. Mine came where every key was the letter C, and uh, I basically had to program the keys before they did anything of any value. Right. Uh, there are quite a lot of limitations, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so here doesn't really say much of anything. Um, yeah, so actually just look at the physical hardware and hopefully that works out. Okay. So this is the physical um, device. Okay, so uh, I've already done a few things, a few changes to it because I'm recording this video a few days after the fact. Okay, so one thing to note uh, is first, all the keys, so these are, I believe, cherry profile switches, uh, keycaps. Okay, so uh, I have reorientated them, they are originally were orientated this way. So uh, it's meant to be placed that way, or is it the other way? One way or the other, can't remember. Okay, and then there were no feet. I had to add these myself because yeah there was nothing. Uh, I assume they expected the screws to add sufficient uh, ND slip but that's not really the case. Okay so we can see the layers of PCB. Oh uh, no the acrylic. So the dark acrylic with uh, two clear ones and the PCB sandwich in between and a thin acrylic as the uh, mounting plate. Right. USB-C uh, and then well you can tell that they're all different switches so because I've changed that out I've done some changes to this already as it is okay so we'll have a look at the switches first uh, okay so this is one thing I don't like right the when you pull the keycap off the switch comes right off together with it uh, because I think the, acrylic, the top acrylic plate is just a bit too thick so the switch cannot grip nicely onto the acrylic plate mm, but to note okay the ah never mind let me just take the whole thing apart I think that would be easier Well, it does help when you want to just pull everything out, you know. 
one step less. Okay, so a few things that I've learned to it here is well, there is foam both on a PCB and on a plate. Um, yeah, for fun of it, I've done that. Okay, so the knob just pulls right off into the standard knob and uh, can't screw it. So there are some interesting things to look at once we have it open. Because initially, I was hoping that it was uh, an Arduino or something. So this is pretty thick if you look at it. So I think the switch cannot really hold on to it well. So yeah. Okay, let's put that aside. So it's just pieces and then the PCB and a few pieces and, right, and some of the standards that come out so let's just put it to the side first okay so looking at the PCB okay so it's purple for one uh, don't think that really matters right uh, it's a pretty simple PCB uh, it's a two-sided PCB uh, basically the only component on the top is the rotary encoder. Uh, it is uh, not stepless. It is a stepped uh, encoder with a click. Okay. So bottom, basically, have our hot swap sockets. So uh, just look at the actual socket. They are. Can you kill? They are standard sockets. So they will take um, cherry. Uh, style switches with no issue right uh, I do want to show this chip but I'm not sure whether I can focus on it so the chip is quite interesting it is actually a very cheap cheap uh, chip which is uh, let me see whether I can read it off it the CH55 no, is it 55? Yeah, 55 2G. So, yeah, so, yeah, it's a pretty inexpensive cheap chip. Can be reprogrammed, but uh, I can't find any resources. So, if anybody out there, you know, ever gets hand on, on this and is willing to write a more robust program, I would definitely want to know. So there is, of course, um, a print number, right? So there is uh, ANXIN K6 VT1 LED V01. Okay, so uh, that's the PCB. Okay, I'm gonna put it back together now so they can just have a test. Okay, so I've got it back together. Um, I am going to just uh, okay. Let's just have a look at the origin of switches. Okay, so we originally came with blue switches. Uh, wasn't given a choice, if you notice. And then they are basically these uh, not very great. Really focus. Yeah, these blue. Not sure whether I want to bother putting them in for a sound test, but I guess I'll do it. So I'll just put three in maybe. Let's 
just do this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to put a piece of foam under it just to give it a bit of isolation from the tail. Okay, then from there, um, pull off some of the keycaps. Oh, so just a note, uh, I do have an O-ring under each keycap. Um, I'm not going to take it off. So that would affect the actual sound up. Because I've already foamed other places anyway, so I, yeah, it, I won't be able to get you the actual sound anyways. So, But yeah, this is a rough sound test. I'm going to hold it up to the mic. So okay, and then I'm going to put in the original switches that I have in there. Um, so these are. Honestly, not switches that I really remember what is which. Yes, I laced out there. So, they're all um, echo switches. So, this is. I can't remember what they're called. Green ones. and the white ones so as I said I've reorientated the switches uh, no the keycaps um, so that they face down because that's the direction that I wanted it Okay, so quick sound test, green, pinks, Okay, so uh, I think we'll jump back to the desktop and we'll have a look at the firmware. Okay, so this is the program that um, we have uh, available. So you have to get it from the seller. Um, I'll see if we can distribute it, but the best source is to get it from the seller, right? Okay, so this is version 02.1.1. Uh, if you, uh, nothing can see it, but um, there's a few interesting things here. I'm just going to connect it up to the computer first. Okay, so you know, this is connected on the top left. Uh, then you have keys 1 to 16, uh, K1 to K3. Okay, and then uh, on the top we have layer 1 to layer 3. So earlier I did mention about uh, the difference between the Bluetooth and non Bluetooth version. So what I've been told is that. Uh, the layers doesn't work unless you have the Bluetooth version. So, quite a bummer, but yeah, it is what it is. At least you're informed. Okay, so this layout pretty much is designed such that um, it's meant for all your keyboards. So, uh, we see anti 16, but we theoretically can use anti 6, right? And then K1 to K3 is the knob, so the center press, turn left and turn right. Okay, so uh, other limitations, right? So let's say we click key one, okay? And key one is, let me expand that. So key one, this is key one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Okay, because it's supposed to originally look like that. Okay, so um, key one, uh, what you'll do if let's say you want it to say ABC, you just press ABC. Uh, typing does not work, you have to press on the UI. Right. And yeah, there's a five character limit. Okay, so if you wanted to like uh, add um, modifiers, you can just press that and you do you add on top. So the top row is the modifier row and the bottom row is the character row. Okay, so that's okay, but um, five character limit uh, clearly does not meet the requirement of you know being able to type passwords and things like that. Of course, that's not what you should use it for, but yeah. Um, then, so let's say you want to program this, uh, you click download. Uh, let me see, let's put it on key five, right? So, another thing to note is that every time you press a new key, the UI clears and you have to like redo it. So, let's say I just want control C, right? And you click download, download successful, and that's it. You can cancel to clear it, but that's all there is to it. Okay, so um, there's keys and the modifiers. Right, so keys you have your escape, uh, special keys, right? Uh, then your arrow keys, uh, num number keys. Okay. Uh, besides that, you have multimedia, which I've tested uh, volume, mute, uh, play pause. That all works no issues. Right, especially with the DAO. Uh, then you have LED modes, which uh, is not key. You just select the mode. Okay. Uh, click download. Right. So if you look at Oh wait, no. Mo mode one is off, right? right? Mode zero is off. And download. So this is mode one, which is it will basically light um, your last selected key, right? And then you have mode two, which is uh, more of a dancing mode, and that's about it. Right, so you just keep going round and round. Um, quite annoying because it is relatively bright. There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to mode one. Right. Okay, so uh, what else is there? Mouse function. I have not really tested uh, whether this works, but I'm going to assume it does. Where you can like zoom in, zoom out by control and mouse in, mouse out. And the likes of that, if that's what you're looking for. Seems to be something here, but I can't select it. So that's the software. Yeah, I hope that helps. That's basically all I have to share. Thanks for your time. Leave a like if it's helped. Do subscribe. And just, you know, drop a message uh, in the comments if you have anything to ask. I will try to write a blog post and see if I can distribute. Um, the application toodles